Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of x, this is equal to 60. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. This exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 9 to the power of x plus x, this is equal to 60. So 9 raised to the power of x plus x, this is 2x, and this is equal to 60. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. That is rock 9 to the power of 2x. This is equal to rock 60. And you find that rock 9 to the power of 2x, this is in the form of rock 8 to the power of n, which can be expressed as n rock a. Now let's apply this power root property of logarithm so that now rock 9 to the power of 2x becomes 2x rock 9. This is equal to rock 60. So let's divide both signs by rock 9. And also here we have rock 9. So by simplifying here, this implies we have 2x and this is equal to rock 60 divided by rock 9. The next step from here, we can express 60. This is basically the same thing as 12 multiplied by 5. Substituting this, then we have 2x. This is equal to rock 12 multiplied by 5 divided by rock 9. The next step is that rock 12 times 5. This is in the form of rock a multiplying by b and this can be expressed as rock a plus rock b applying this logarithm property then we have 2x this is equal to rock 12 divided by rock 9 then plus rock 5 divided by rock 9 now the next step from here now the next step from here, we can express 12. This is the same thing as 4 multiplied by 3. We can express 9. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2. So we have 2x. This is equal to rock. This is 4 multiplied by 3 divided by rock 9, which is rock 3 to the power of 2, then plus rock 5 divided by rock 3 to the power of 2. Again, rock 4 times 3. This is in the form of rock A times B. And this can be expressed as rock A plus rock B. Applying this property, then this implies we have 2x. This is equal to rock 4 divided by rock 3 to the power of 2 then plus rock 3 divided by rock 3 to the power of 2 then plus rock 5 divided by rock 3 to the power of 2 so here 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 so this implies we have 2x this is the same thing as rock 2 to the power of 2 divided by rock 3 to the power of 2, then plus rock 3, divided by rock 3 to the power of 2, then plus rock 5, divided by rock 3 to the power of 2. Now, applying the power root property here, that is now 2x is equal to rock 2 to the power of 2 becomes 2, rock 2, divided by 2 rock 3 
Then plus here, we have rock 3 divided by 2, rock 3. Then plus rock 5 divided by 2, rock 3. The next step is to simplify here. 2 and 2 simplifies. Rock 3 and rock 3 simplifies. So that now we have 2x. This is equal to rock 2 divided by rock 3. Then plus a half. Then plus a half. This is rock 5 divided by rock 3. The next step from here rock 2 over rock 3 and rock 5 over rock 3. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B and this can be expressed as rock A to base B. So let's apply this logarithm property from here. So we have 2x this is equal to a half plus rock 2 to base 3 then plus a half rock 5 to base 3. The next step from here, let's divide both sides by 2. So that now, so let's simplify here by 2 by 2 here. So that x here is equal to, this is a half multiplying by a half, then plus a half. Then rock 2 to base 3, then plus a, we have a half times a half, then rock 5 to base 3. So this implies that here x is equal to a half times a half, this is 1 over 4 plus a half, this is rock 2 to base 3, then plus a half. No, one, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, this is 1 over 4. This is rock 5 to base 3. So this is the value of x from here. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So let's verify here. Now, if you recall, we have that 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of x, this should give us a value of 60. So this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, and this can be expressed as a raised to the power of n plus m. And this implies that we have 9 raised to the power of x plus x, this is 2x, and this should give us a value of 60. So let's substitute x. So we have 9 raised to the power of 2 times x. Remember x is 1, 1 over 4 plus a half. This is rock 2 to base 3. Then plus 1 over 4 rock 5 to base 3. This should give us a value of 60. Okay. So let's simplify here. So we have 9 raised to the power of 2. Let's simplify by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So this is 9 raised to the power of a half. Then plus, now 2 and 2 here simplify. So we have rock 2 to base 3. Then plus, here we have 2 and 2 here simplify. So we have a half. This is rock 5 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now, we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2. So we have 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by a half plus rock 2 to base 3 plus a half rock 5 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Okay, so let's simplify here. 2 and 2 here simplify. So we have 3 to the power of 1. Plus, now 2 times rock 2 to base 3. So this is 2 rock 2 to base 3. Then plus 2 and 2 here simplifies. So we have rock 
5 to base 3, this should give us a value of 16. Okay? 3 raised to power 1 plus 2. Now 2 is the power here. So this implies that we can express this as 3 raised to the power of 1 plus rog. 2 to the power of 2 to base 3. Then plus rog. 5 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 16 from here. Now we have 3 raised to power 1 plus rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3 plus rock 5 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m. This can be expressed as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of rho, 2 to the power of 2 to base 3, then times 3 to the power of rho, 5 to base 3, this is supposed to give us a value of 60. The next step is that 3 raised to power of 2 to the power of 2 to base 3, and 3 raised to power of 5 to base 3, this is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a, and this is equal to b. So applying this logarithm property, then 3 raised to the power of rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. And 3 raised to the power of rho, 5 to base 3, this should give us a value of 5. Substituting this, then we have 3 times 4 times 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. So 3 times 4, this is 12. 12 times 5, this is equal to 60, and this is equal to 60. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x, which is equal to 1 over 4 plus a half rock 2 to base 3 plus 1 over 4 rock 5 to base 3, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe country like this video and subscribe see you in the next video